as we continue to figure out a way to live in a way that honors not only Jesus, but other people who have given their lives so that we might live. I'm, I'm walking through some books that mean a lot to me, and especially some thoughts from Scripture. And I hope this is an, as encouraging to you as it is to me when I refocus on what really matters in life and, and, and why it's so important to live well. It, it helps the whole day go better. I hope it does that for you. But uh, Dr. Tony Evans, one of my favorite preachers and authors, and this is one of my favorite of his books, The Kingdom Agenda. He outlines how God has a design for pretty much everything in life and everything in the universe points to that in one way or another and that the most logical and the only effective way that we can live really is to actually just follow that design find that i i'd like you to think about something today who is it that god made you to be if you didn't have to play a role that you're playing today if you didn't feel kind of crammed into a specific job or responsibility or relationship or whatever else, who would you be? Who, who do you think is, is the real you at the bottom? And, and I think sometimes we get that all twisted up. We, we, we think that who we are is some random feeling that we have or some random desire or instinct that we have. And I, I don't think that's, that's the healthiest way because if you're anything at all like I am, um, my ideas and thoughts and desires have been pretty random most of my life. Uh, I don't think they define who I am. They just define where I was at that moment in time. But what I'm asking is, who's the real you? What's the consistent thread between all of that stuff? What are the things that you are able to do easily and love to do no matter what season of life you're in and how successful or not that you feel? And then set your mind on those things. Set your energy, your priorities on those things. Hebrews chapter 12 opens like this. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. I love that. I think we all need to take that to heart and live that out today. God bless you.